Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Hylix 2. Uh, we just picked up Stomstona and we now have a full party. And, um, like, this was the only party you... Ooh, is that a thing? It is. Nice. Like, this was the... These were the only four party members you got in, um... Hylix last time. The Woim Room key. What are you, bro? Here to maintain the worm, it's just down the ladder. The way that this game handles ladders is really cringe. You just have to jump straight up them over and over again. Don't suppose you saw the patrol, huh? They're a bit late. Patrol. Worm, 100%. Shield status active. That guy earlier mentioned the worm that they might be using. <clears throat> Alright, now responding. This happens very frequently. Ugh. So it looks like any time we need to advance the plot, a new gameplay style shows up. So this has like... Because like earlier we had the uh, the platforming where we played as Little Wayne. <laughs> Funny. Can I fall off here? I cannot. And then we have this like, essentially an auto-scroller section here. Um, and then to like hustle through the plot to getting Samsonona, we had to do the airship. Man, that soundtrack does not inspire confidence. Oh gosh. Oh, they're all with me. I just don't see them. So what are these things? Fate Sandbox. Target ally becomes immune. Does not work. Okay, so we got squid. Just normal squid. Asylum Vog. And hand of mood bleen. What? Hand of. Who is. Volatile product? Ugh. Hmm. Let's snap you and make sure that you get killed before your cranial gloam, did that say? Squeezed. That did nothing. Is that just because I'm squeezed? Because let's try out one of these. Okay, so it looks like the guy being squeezed just doesn't get anything. Alright, wave artifice. I don't know how to charge it. Also, Samsona has an impressive amount of uh, magic. Lambast. Pretty standard. Oh, I'm dry here. Hold on. Let's focus on squid because it's charging. Mandible. Whoa! That was with the thing up, too. Damn. Let's do another soul crisper on you, huh? That charge is no, no fucking joke, huh? Sharp fingers. That's the scary attack. Makes you bleed. Still empty. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. There's you down. Let's have you heal her. Thank you. I like some, I think Stomp Snow might be my favorite character. The fact that she doesn't look like a total freakazoid and is like a, like a person. 
Like, I know she's got a weird hat and she's got blue skin, but she's like practically normal compared to the rest of everyone, you know? And then everyone just starts napping. Cool. Bone, stem cell, meat, banana, antenna, and material mitts. I think I can equip those, can't I? Twelve, twelve, and twelve. And this is twenty eight minus sixteen. That's not that good. Maybe Data Simon can wear it though, because I think he just has default stuff on. Yeah, that's technically better than what he had on. Really weird to have an auto scroller, but I guess it makes sense. I never been one to really hate linear games, but auto scrollers are a little weird. Though I do have some control over this, as well as uh, the choice to pick where I'm going. Oh, it's one of those. Another squad. Oh, I just got filled again. That's cool. Volatile product. What does that do again? Wow, so now that I'm looking, it looks like Datasmoln's purpose is to be the tank, because Datasmoln has a bunch of health. Like, maybe the most health. I'll use that on you. And then... My seat. Oh yeah, now that I have four people, I can go to that one area that was whooping my butt. So how do I charge it? Alright, then sleep spores come out. Okay. okay. You're dead. Nice. Oh, his burning wore off. That's unfortunate. But I can work with this. Hell yeah. Is that just random or is that supposed to be a little tune? Hmm. I wonder if battles are infinite in here. It might make sense. Also, I don't know where I'm going. I've just realized. I thought that the area would have been over by now, but it hasn't been. Not by a long shot, in fact. Like, I feel like there's even more to go. Like, I feel like I've been down here before. Haven't I? Oh man, I don't have to like, this isn't like a real maze I have to do, is it? I bet it is. Yeah, this is. This area is looping. At least that part of it is. Okay, not going that way. I'll just, I like fighting these guys, I'll be honest. Maybe I'm just only here for the combat, but like, I do really do, pardon me, I do really enjoy um, RPG combat to a great extent. 
All right, you gotta die. A friend of mine hates RPGs, like all of them. I can't believe that. That blows my mind. Oh boy. Maybe Wayne will get to go before that uh, Asylum Vogue does. Okay. Snap it. Nice. Oh, Didismona's burning. Uh oh. Wow. That attack is for real. Wait, you're run out of juice. May we say. Man. I'm only ten minutes into this episode. This is this is unreal. Like I don't know how, but it is. Cool. Oh, did his mom died? I'm gonna save. I'm gonna do it in another slot too. I don't remember where I was going as well. Okay, so that dead ends. What is, it? is that Japanese? Is this new? I don't think it is new. I guess it could be, but I don't think it is. No, I feel like I've been over here before. It's so like classic video gamey that you would pick up a huge coin, you know? I guess I just backtrack out? Every time. Any of these do anything? Man. Video games, am I right? I don't see very many people talk about Hylex. I think there's like a Nitro Red video on it. Um, and I think Vinny streamed both games, but like, there's not a lot of comment on Hylix on like the internet, you know? Yeah, let's work on uh, the squid forest. The hand of Muad'Dib or whatever it was called, that's a really cool design. Moodbleen, that's what it is. I wonder if they only show up in here. Is this like the Divine Realm or something? Cranial Glom. <laughs> Is that like getting glomped? Forgive me. I feel like all of the spells are really expensive. You know? Like, Wayne can cast two offensive spells from the get-go. Oh, damn you. And Stomp Sonic can cast three. Just have you snap. All right, I gotta pick one and kill it. I think that'll die actually, because it's still burning. Yeah, okay, cool. And then that'll kill you, go. So 
So this is going to squeeze someone else? Okay, yeah, it is. I guess what I meant was, is it going to squeeze them, or is it going to change his squeezing target, you know? Yeah. Squeezing just ends. Okay. That's fine. Did I get moved to a new place? I know that it, like, resets the area and, like, how much, like, stuff there is, but, like... What the hell are you, bro? Yeah, I know it resets the area, but... Oh, the key! I like that they're like, because like normally in a video game, if you ever see a key, it's the huge Mondo like brass key, like this gigantic, huge super key, you know? Like, of course that unlocks something. Have you seen it? It's a huge key. But then all of these are like modern keys. I think it very much fits the aesthetic. All right. Um... But this battle music sounds like Kurt Cobain's tuning his guitar. Cranial glom. On Wayne, that's okay. Stem cell, no! Now that I'm now that I've had a few uh, rounds that go like this, I'm kind of wondering if I'm kind of thinking that this might not be the move, you know? Like it might be good to double down on one, but the thing is, like, I don't want to use a, a status effect on more than one target, you know? Or like on on one target more than once, I mean. Uh, opposite of that, pardon moi. Like if I'm gonna use a status effect, what I want to do is like. Like, throw it on someone and then leave it there and then get it on someone else. I guess it's weird that you would give, you know, every party member a, a status effect attack so soon. Okay. Whoop. Who's this coming to? Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's arrived. Cool. Yeah, because I think part of it is just because I don't have a, a single target magical attack and I want to use my MP to do stuff, especially in this kind of battle. Oh, he didn't last that long. That's okay. Mind by me? All right. I can't believe I was just letting Datus Moln have like his no his no damage. So I've gotten the key, so I think it's time to leave, right? Like I should be okay to get out of here. This feels like nightmares I've had, honestly. I had another work nightmare this morning, actually. Okay, I think this is that one area that I kept going to. I'm, I'm able to reliably get here, though, so maybe what I want to do is get here. Anyway, I had a wor another work nightmare this morning. I haven't had one of those in a while. But it was just a nightmare where I was, like, at work at that grocery store I used to work at. I should get, like, restitution from that place or something. So how do I charge it? Q? Q? 
The damage isn't great. Now that I'm like looking at it, I gotta move to you because you're gonna you're gonna attack and it's gonna be a problem for me. Even though I've already got in on your brother, brother Squid. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but like I woke up this morning at like two in the morning and I just couldn't get back to sleep. That keeps happening. For the past week and a half or maybe more, I've been waking up at like like 5 a.m. And like that's annoying enough. But like to wake up at like oh god. To wake up at two in the morning after going to bed at a reasonable hour. Like uh I don't remember when I went to bed, but it was a normal hour for humans to go to sleep at. I was like legitimately so mad that I was just awake and it was two. I was like, Ugh. you know, okay, you're dead. You will be dead. Nice. So now we can just focus in on, let's focus in on you because you're already hurt. I know that he's charging up, but he can only kill one of us, theoretically, right? Now, I'm aware that one of us is already dead, but... See, that wasn't bad at all. So, yeah, I feel like I get, like, pulled back to the same starting place every time I, I come, I get attacked, unless I'm in here. Actually, this looks completely new. Okay. Well, we got the key. What does that mean for us, though? So is that like in the worm mind? Okay, look at the jank ladder controls. You just jump up the ladder. Okay, worm key. Oh, I know that there was a key in the other area. Let's use one of these, huh? So this is a change I'm not sure if I like, but being able to go to the afterlife at any point means that you can uh, cash in your, your meat at any point. And meat is just the item that you get off of killing a guy. Cave key. But yeah, you could only cash in your XP if you died in the, in the first game. And I kind of, I don't know, I think I might like that better. Whoa. Tele denu. Tele denu date. Denu date? And there's a floating couch. That makes sense to me. There was also a few things in the first game that you could only unlock in the afterlife after finding the relevant items in the real world. Wayne larvas. It feels weird to not be the only Wayne. Oh, man. All right. Oh, that one guy said that I could start a battle with a slap. Okay, so I can go to New Moldal. I think that'll be a little faster. But yeah, I think they said that I can start a battle with a slap and, and get a, like, pressing attack on them, you know? I should remember that. Could be useful. All right. Ah, I just remember that this means that I left my airship there. Mm -hmm. 
So I think I have a key for this area too. Because this should be that one area, yeah, where I couldn't go for, like, big problems attacking me. Let's start on you then, huh? I gotta remember that I'm not gonna get, um, a bunch of free stuff. Telenudate. Huh, so it just cleans you. That's a good ability. I don't think I need to worry about those things healing. And it's next turn, it should actually kill as well. Galliform. I don't know what galley means. I might kill all these things off screen, um, unless there's like a cool, like, thing. What the... Hell. Alright. I'm doing that thing that I talked about earlier, but I do want to get, uh, damage on people. And Wave Artifice isn't actually that great of an attack damage-wise. I should have killed the. I should have focused on the other one. Actually, start snapping them. Damn you! Huh? I wonder where that's from, because that has to be pulled from somewhere. Well, now they're both fast. I may as well attack both of them. Or, um, whichever one has lower health. I think the fire should kill it. Yes. Okay, so haste just lets you attack twice. Or fastness, or whatever it was called. Sorry, I think I might have said that a little loud. Uh, pardon my microphone. I mean, it's my fault, but... My microphone doesn't, like, cut peaks. Hmm. That music is real, real aggressive. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't remember if I've been in here. Five kilometers should do it. From the size of the herd, I'm guessing pre-accretion. They found a herd of animals down there. And they're from before... Nodular extrusion required massive catabolism. We hope to see some examples in the subterrain. Perhaps you notice the large birds outside. They're drawn to the sage's artifacts. So we started a herd, of course, we resolved to construct the drill. I anticipate an ancient underground edifice. Would proceed more rapidly if we had Skull Bomb. Okay, and his dialogue slipping. Huh. So I guess I'll just be on the lookout for Skull Bomb. So what are you? Are you more of the same? Yeah. Let's work on those, huh? Wow, that's awesome. Dissolute. It's so weird that Dissolute and Poison are not the same thing. Again, let's work on you then, huh? Before you get your speed up. Yeah. 
I don't know if that'll make him run, but if it does, that would be useful for me. Let's kill you and get your stuff. Okay, there's Accelerate. I might be able to get all four attacks out and it might kill. I don't know if it will actually. Yeah, all four didn't kill, but the fire would. That's good. Oh, this is Pongorma. All right. Coolio. Feeling good. I don't know where I'm going here, though. I know I'm supposed to be looking for Skull Bomb now, but I don't know where I would get that. Was there more to the left over here? Besides you guys, there was. Huh. A bananas. Cupcake. Oh god. It's the wrong thing. Oh, I saved it though. Cool. But what is this? And where does it go? What is it for? Okay, so then this is open now, right? I like the floor here. You can tell that it just made with like pushed in fingertips or like maybe the end of a pen or something like that. But I like that, I don't mind that at all. Brain digits. That was like such a 3D animation. By the way, I haven't been um, grinding this pretty extensively off. I have not been grinding this off screen, I should say. Um, I'm just leaving it open when I go off to upload or do other things. In the tabs. Nematode interface. Wow, so this is still down there. Huh, well. Hmm. So, is that the only place this goes? I guess it doesn't have to go anywhere else. Yeah, I guess that's fine. What about this, guys? What's going on? I assume that this dude isn't going to give me anything until I bring a skull bomb. Yeah. Although I also feel as though I'm supposed to be working on something worm-related. Also, annoyingly, I've lost my airship. Foes assemble. Ah, crap. Nematode. Bleed. On target and user. Weird. The galley form attacks. Hmm. Might be too big of an ass to kill all of these. Like I said, I've been awake for uh, a decent chunk of time, so I'm a little, well, not maybe disoriented. I don't know. I could be better. I was certain that I was going to record, so I was like, yeah, I'll record. 
Well, there goes another one. And the problem is that we have two of his moves coming out. Oh, well, there goes you. Well, that's everyone. <laughs> Creepy. Another death, but that's okay. Again, I still think Snom Snona has the best design. I think I'm saying her name wrong, um, but it isn't my fault. I'm dyslexic. Let's go to the shield facility, because I think the aircraft is there. I'm also curious to see if that, like, worm thing that I did did anything. No, I was already in here. Can't be it. Wait, let me check this thing, just to remember what it is. Okay. Yeah. Let me bank this around to see. Man, this is really cool. Just the ability to explore the Hylex world in 3D is nice, you know? It's like, um, I guess I played the Simpsons game. It's called that, The Simpsons Game. It's the licensed game of The Simpsons Movie. And, like, they were just going to call it The Simpsons Movie because it's the movie of the show called The Simpsons. And so the the game is named it the same way. Still nothing, huh? I feel like the shield's gonna go down and you're gonna be able to see it from a big distance. Anyway, in that game, you have the ability to roam around the Simpsons house in 3D. Um, I think you couldn't hit and run as well, but I don't remember, I didn't play that one. Not as a kid, at least. I, uh, I know Germa streamed it. Have I been over here? Anyway. Um, it's just cool to walk around an area that, like, you've seen so much. And it just, like, to get that and it's yours now, you know? It's cool to be able to see the world in a new way. Like, um, in Metal Gear Solid 4, when you go back to Shadow Moses Island. Spoilers for a game that's... Ooh, it's the 20... 14 years old? Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 is... I think that's right. It was out in 2008. So 2018 would make it 10 years. And 2018 was four years ago. So yeah. Oh, hey, it's you. The key is ancient. Whatever door it unlocks is likely deep underground, buried in the accretion. It looks like the world flooded. And that was kind of already a thing because of the flood, like, last time. Because you had to boat a lot of places. What are you, brother? Truculent does disruption. Pool Magna. Ha <laughs> ha.
Warpa will self-destruct, so we should stop that. I'm going to try uh, this again, because there's a lot of people in here. So maybe it'll be good, you know? Allotrope. Oh, they got counter moves. That's annoying. Uh oh. <laughs> we joined each other in death. That's okay, though. Whoops, that wasn't the right one. I just hit left and assumed that it would go from him to the one on the left. But that's not the case. <laughs> that, like, real-ass slap noise is funny. Actually, let me... Pop a real spell here on you. I always like games where they give you a really unusual moveset. And, like, you just have to deal with that, you know? Let me sling you a thing, huh? Mmm, that's annoying. That put mine. I can take the counter hit. And he's also now burning, which I like. Ooh, man, it is molten. Oh, come on. I really want you to survive. I had a thing I wanted you to do. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I'll probably end this episode here, then. I'll just save in the afterlife, and then I'll figure out where I'm going from there. Uh, I think I'll take a little break from recording. Not that you would notice, um... But just, you know, I've been recording a lot of things in one day. I recorded the other few episodes uh, before this. And how can they just do that? That should be illegal. But yeah, um, I've been out for this. has been Hylix. Um, like I said, like, it is really different and really weird for that reason. But it's cool. There's a lot of new cool stuff here. Um, and that means that I have a lot more things to learn and a lot more things to do in this game. Which is fine. Like, it's a good game. But yeah, um... Three hours, wow. But yeah, I've been out for this. has been Hylix 2. Um, I think I said this in a previous episode, but this is on Steam. It goes on sale whenever Mason Lindroth feels like it. Or whenever there's a big indie sale or a big uh, holiday sale or a seasonal sale. Um, but it's also on Itch.io. Uh, and if you don't want to give money to Steam but still want to buy this game, then get it through there. Um, Mason Lindroth's games are also on Itch.io. Some of them are free as well. So in case you want to play something with this weird, cool art style, but don't want to pay for it, there are free games. So, uh, yeah, I've been Alfred. This has been Hylix 2. Everyone have a good day. Thank you.